That arrest was a culmination of nearly a week of investigative work from state, local, and federal officials. It was a tip that brought them to that truck stop, and ultimately, it was Manfredonio's shoes that gave him away. Looked over at Mr. Manfredonia and noticed that he had his red sneakers on. The same red shoes seen in this surveillance photo taken out of Sheets in Hagerstown, Maryland. At that point, the side view profile matched the photos that we had. Peter Manfredonia was spotted along a wood line behind the pilot truck stop along Halfway Boulevard in Hagerstown just after 9 p.m. He was walking just 20 feet from a team of investigators made up of two Connecticut state police detectives, federal and local law enforcement. Immediately, Detective Zeller and the team went over to, to Mr. Manfredonia with their guns drawn and told them to get on the ground. Manfredonia did not resist arrest. State police said he followed all directions from law enforcement. No force had to be used. Police say Manfredonia willingly brought authorities to a black bag with a weapon located 200 yards from his arrest. Many, many thanks to the citizens of Connecticut who served as our eyes and ears and they witnessed the suspect in various locations and throughout the Northeast. Manfredonia is accused of killing 62-year-old Ted Demers and 23-year-old Nick Isley while attacking a third man, abducting a woman, and numerous other crimes. The 23-year-old from Newtown fled Connecticut Sunday, taking investigators on a multi-state search lasting six days. The savagery of these crimes has propelled our detectives to commit themselves to finding this individual as quickly as possible. Authorities were following leads, surveillance, and tips through the FBI tip line that led them to Hagerstown Wednesday. They had been investigating the area since noon. Connecticut State Police say the families of the victims were very appreciative of their efforts. They would not go into further detail about the investigation or speculate on his motive for the attacks. The investigation is not over by any stretch. The authorities expressed their condolences to the family and everybody affected by these senseless acts of violence. Now, the state has about 30 days to be able to extradite Manfredonia back to the state, which they say could happen in a few weeks. In Middletown, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.